What's up guys, it's Adam from Spirit of Systems. Today I want to talk to you about side armor. There's several things you should consider when looking at side armor, if it's an option you need or want, uh, from hard to soft armor, and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that today. With side armor, there's several different thoughts or practices of where to place it, um, different types of whether we're talking about hard or soft armor. One of the biggest things we're looking to protect, obviously, is the side with side armor, hence it's in the name. But when we're looking at something from more of a traditional hard plate, such as this Hesco, which is a six by six plate, some of you might've seen six by eight plates, which I don't have with me that are a little bit bigger, to something more along the lines of a level two, level three, um, a soft armor option. With the hard plates, you see people running them towards the front. Some will have them in the middle, kind of the three and the nine o'clock, and then some will have them further back. My best practice or what I've always been told and kind of learned through studies I've seen is that you want it to be as far forward as possible to protect the obliques. And this is what we're presenting ourselves. So most interactions we're having, we're forward facing, we're involved in something, whether law enforcement, military, civilian, you're presented to the threat. And you might be candid slightly, especially with a rifle or something like that. So we want to protect this side oblique versus having it further back um, or all the way to the back where we're going to lose some protection when it comes to this style because we can't have a full wraparound plate. It just the lack of flexibility would cause major issues with that. So with a hard plate, we are limited to placement. Um, again, best kind of practice is more towards the front with that. With soft armor, you have the option to have the same amount or, or profile of the hard armor or all the way up. Um, you know, there's several different sizes, which we'll get into later, but you can have something where you have a full wraparound that goes from your front plate to your rear plate to offer that protection. The downside of this is obviously a reduced level of protection as it is just soft armor. So it's not gonna be rated to stop the same as the hard armor. These can also be integrated together. So you can use them in conjunction with one another. So you can have your hard armor plate up front and you have your full wraparound soft armor to give as much protection as possible on the sides. If you look at my plate carrier right here, this one is set up with soft armor. I have the Molly Tubes cummerbund on it, and I have 5x14 uh, soft armor on the side, and it's pushed all the way to the front as close as I can get without interfering with the Molly Tubes, and then wraps around to the back. And we'll talk more about that and how specifically soft armor and hard armor integrates with the Spirit of Systems LV119 here in a little bit. So let's talk about the integration of side armor with the LV-119. There are several different sizes that you can utilize. Um, the big specific thing when it comes to using any sort of side armor is that you have to have a Molly cummerbund, whether it's the Molly HLT or the Molly tubes. Everything I'll show you today has Molly tubes on it just for the ease of presentation. Again, most of you guys are probably familiar with this, but this is just our side armor bag. These come in a pair and this holds your six by six hard armor plate. Um, this can be mounted on the inside of the Molly Cummerbund and placed wherever you want. If you're using it with soft armor, you need to place it as far forward as possible. Depending on the size of side armor you have, you could adjust it if you want it somewhere specific. The second product that you need to utilize the soft armor is the caps. And the caps come in a small, like this one here. So this is a side armor bag with a small cap. This one will hold five by seven soft armor, and you can also still put a six by six hard plate in there. Where you're gonna be limited is how thick your hard plate is. If the hard plate is more than an inch thick, um, you don't really wanna go that, like half inch is about what you want with the soft armor, and even then, you just don't really want a super thick side plate. But as you can see on this one, it just simply adds this cap here to allow the bag to extend out. There's no molly or anything as this doesn't need any support other than the molly on the bag or side armor bag itself. The next side up, size up is the medium. 
Same thing, sidearm bag, you have your medium cap. On this one, you can see that there is molly on the cap to help support the weight and keep the side armor integrated with the cummerbund. And it just keeps going more of the same. This is a large. This one holds five by 11 sized armor, has the molly, works with the side armor bag as well. And then lastly, the largest size we have, which is the XL, which is a five by 14. Um, again, molly on there. So as this is attached to your plate carrier, there's no separation from the side armor from the cummerbund itself, keeps everything nice and tight. And this will wrap around you on your side. To show you kind of a visual representation of the different ones, this is the five by seven. Um, this one is a survival armor piece. And again, just to show it next to the six by six, just so you kind of have an idea. And then we go up, we have the five by nine, which is the medium. We have a five by 11, which is our large size. And then we have a five by 14, which is the biggest we have. There's several different companies that make uh, soft armor that will integrate with our side armor bags and caps system. Um, Velocity system, survival armor, Anybody that has a five by seven, nine, 11, or 14 will work in there. Um, some ones have odd sizes or a little bit taller. You might be able to force them in there, but the best you know, practice is to get something that is sized specifically for these bags. And this is a very commonplace size for um, soft armor for the side protection. The thing to consider when choosing soft or hard armor or a combination is just the level of protection you get. With soft armor, you are limited to typically pistol rounds. Um, it will not stop rifle rounds. With the hard armor, you can get rifle rated side plates, so you're gonna have a higher level of protection. That said, due to the size and the weight and just the rigidity of them, you're limited to a six by six in most cases, maybe a six by eight, um, depending on who manufactures the hard plate. With a soft armor, you can get a lot more coverage and you have the flexibility where it's gonna move with you and be a lot more comfortable as you're using it with your plate carrier. With consideration to sizing, you need to look at one, what level of protection or how much you need if you want a true wraparound protection or if you just want some of that front oblique to be protected, such as like the six by six plate. If you want full wraparound, the best way to figure out what size you are is to measure around your torso and then take the measurements of the width of your plates and remove those from that and then divide it by two and you would know, hey, I need you know about 10 inches or 11 inches of protection or coverage on the sides and how I can choose based off that. There's gonna be somewhere you're either at a size that's right under or right over to where you have to make the decision of, hey, I should have five by 12, do I wanna keep a five by 11 and just have a little bit of gap or do I wanna put a five by 14 on it and have it where it's gonna overlap underneath my plates? What you can do is just gonna add that material and now you're gonna have a little offset under there. Some people don't mind that, some do mind that. So that is one of the things to be uh, considered when you're looking at the different sizes. Um, again, if you don't have to have full wraparound armor, you could just have hard armor, you could have a shorter size of the soft armor and still get added protection um, to your plate carrier setup. All right guys, that wraps up the side armor discussion. Um, as always, like and subscribe if you like this video and look out for more content coming from us and our marketing team. Um, also, if you have any questions about side armor, feel free to add them to the comments and also talk about any sort of preference you have with types or the way you wear your side armor.